I wonder if someone could just get me the dictionary definition of premium. Keep watching. Yes, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day again after a bit of a Christmas break. Not been here for a while as ever. This is the summary video review. So the full written review you'll find in the link below this video. There's a lot more information on that website. You're seeing lots of names running across the bottom of the screen for this one because I've not been here for a couple of weeks. These are people who've donated through Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon or other ways. You can, you can donate directly through the YouTube video below to say thank you for what's going on. And my eternal thanks go to those people because I cannot bring you this content every week without donations because that gets hold of half of the instruments for the reviews to keep it impartial so my many many thanks to people who support the channel and it's been a wonderful last year thank you very very much you can support me also by simply subscribing to this youtube channel if you like what you see okay i, I didn't think i was going to get a review in at the end of 2022 but uh, let's sneak it in today on the very last day of the year i've reviewed this brand before the review was one of the worst Worst instruments I've ever seen. It was called the Martin Smith UK212 Soprano. Got a score of about 2.5 out of 10. It was appalling. I spotted this one on Amazon. This is the Martin Smith Premium Soprano. They also make a concert and a tenor. Premium. We're going to hear that word premium a lot in this review. And it is a far cry in the looks from that UK212, which is one of those brightly coloured, painted, thick painted laminate sopranos uh, that were pretty awful. Uh, this one looks like a ukulele at first glance. It's made of all laminate wood. It's all laminate sapili in a sort of standard double bout soprano shape. Two pieces on the top two pieces on the sides, two pieces on the back. Sapili is never the most uh, interesting wood to look at, but it's not offensive. It looks like a wooden ukulele. It's all laminate, as I say, so you can see the laminate edge there to the top and the back. Um, yeah, premium, premium. Is it premium? I wouldn't say Sapili was premium, but there we are. The bridge, unspecified wood. It's a slot style for easy string changes. Uh, it needs a bit of a sand. It's pretty rough on the wood, but it's far better than that UK212 fitted with a straight topped plastic saddle. Then we come onto the decoration and things start to take a bit of a, a dip. We, we don't have any binding. We have laser etching around the sound hole, which people know I dislike, but that's a very subjective thing. I just think it looks cheap and that's some cheap looking laser etching. Um, we have a uh, scalloped cutaway here, which is also really very popular. One of those was on the Flight Fireball that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. But this one looks like they just sort of glooped paint. It's really thick. And you see this line here? It's a split in the paint. It's sort of so heavily applied. I think that looks really, really ropey and cheap. And then this. It's a comfort edge. Now, people like comfort edges. I like comfort edges. Look at that one. <laughs> oh, my word. It looks like it's just been sort of put on with a fingertip. Uh, that is really, really really untidy that's awful uh okay inside simple notch linings regular braces bit chunky on the bracing bit of wood shaving mess but uh, as to be expected i guess the neck they specify as sapili it's typically far eastern and chunky joints at the heel joints at the headstock tapers down to a narrow 34 narrow generic standard far eastern 34 mil nut with 27 from G2A with this big round broom handle on the back that's really difficult for my hand shape it will suit some kids I guess they don't specify what the fingerboard wood is but to be fair this is in quite good condition if a little pale for my tastes but there's no marks in it it's not overly dry fitted with 15 frets joined at the 12th very soprano um, and that is edge bound to hide the fret ends is that premium perhaps Unfortunately, that binding didn't help because the fret ends are sharp. I mean, you've really got to go some to have sharp fret ends on an edge band fingerboard. I can feel them. No, 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 no. Pearly dots face out at 5, 7, 10, a double at the 12th, one at the 15th. No side dots. <coughs> Beginning ukulele, no side dots. Big mistake. Plastic nut. Incidentally, the setup on this one out the box far too high at the nut and above three mil over the 12th so needs work so that's no good either 
Uh, surprise, surprise, ubiquitous, three-pointed crown. Nobody's got any imagination at this price point. The Martin Smith logo is laser etched in, which is better than a transfer, I suppose, but I still don't like laser etching. The tuners are not fitted straight. They are generic chrome sealed gears. Uh, they are all different tensions. One of them is quite hard to turn. One of them is so loose that it makes overshooting the tuning really, really easy. They're not good tuners. Comes with, as you can see, well, they claim a set of Aquila strings. They look like Aquila strings. It comes with a padded gig bag, very functional one. It comes with a clip-on tuner. It comes with a little sort of guidebook on cords, a cleaning cloth, a set of spare strings which they claim are Aquila strings. Aquila tell me themselves that they never ever ship strings that way without the packaging. And there's no labelling on them so you wouldn't know which strings are which either. So I don't think these are Aquila strings. And it comes with a strap. And so it's one of those all-in kits. Does that make it premium? Well, they all offer that, don't they? All of these 50 quid, 60 quid ukuleles on Amazon offer, they throw in the kitchen sink. So I don't think that makes it premium either. And the price, in the UK at least, about 55 pounds. So not a lot of money, but then there's an awful lot at that price point that this is competing with. Um, look, summing up, it looks like a ukulele. It doesn't look like a toy. I'll give it that. But the decoration is woeful. I also didn't mention there's quite a few little chips and scuffs in the finishing as well. But generally speaking, it's a light little instrument. 415 grams. Balances nicely in the hands as well. Um, there's just so many around at this price point. But we have a play. And there are some at this price point, like Donna. Uh, who I have said, yeah, all right, actually, and a Van Gogh that I looked at that got a, a score in the high sevens, as I recall, maybe into the eights. This A string tuner is so finicky. Oh, shooting over and under. But then the intonation is going to be a bit out anyway because the nut is so high. Oh, these tuners are awful. And then this one's really stiff. And you're listening to the tone as I'm doing this. Now, there's something else I'll notice when I play it. There's a buzz coming from inside. It's not the string height, because the strings are far too high to be buzzing on the frets. Anyway, the volume. All right, actually. But that's not the great big take that you might think it is, because a lot of these cheap laminates have a lot of volume punch, but it's about all they have. Sustain, gone. It's very low sustain. I know it's a soprano. Soprano's a staccato in tone, uh, in sustain. But then even some other cheap sopranos like the Baton Rouges and stuff have got more going on. More sustain means more frills in your play. This has got no sustain at all. And another thing I always say about very cheap laminates, they sound a bit boxy, echoey. This is that in spades. Can you hear the buzz? very generic, very one-dimensional tone. Um, it sounds like a ukulele, I guess. Pick, <coughs> picking, very, very high action as well.
sorry, good, is it? Um, very, very generic, very, very basic. And I think that's what annoys me about this because they've used this term premium. And I have a read of the written review because I also take a couple of quotations from their Amazon listing that say that this is uncompromising in quality. It's all absolute marketing nonsense. Yeah, it looks like a ukulele. The sustain is poor. This finishing is laughable. Um, uh, the neck's not for me, uh, but there's nothing premium about it. And just before Christmas, I had a bit of a rant about people who say that I always say bad things about cheap instruments. That's simply not true. Go to the full review list. Have a look at others at this price point. You'll find lots of others where I've given them much higher scores than this one. I do try and be as objective as I can in these reviews. There are better options out there for you as a soprano. For a lot less money, in fact. And certainly for the same amount of money, there are loads of others. Donna do spring to mind, Octopus spring to mind, people like that. This is not premium. Throwing the kitchen sink in with the package is not premium. I don't see what makes this premium. This is just a very, very average ukulele in a very, very crowded price point with some awful finishing. The Martin Smith Premium. Premium. Get him a dictionary. The Martin Smith Premium <laughs> Soprano. Does have a model number UK seven one two SN um, premium soprano. Puh. There's a way to end the year, hey? Right, okay. Thank you very much during 2022 for all your support. It's been much appreciated, um, very much appreciated. You, you're very good people. Um, I hope you've had a good year, and I hope you'll have a wonderful, healthy, prosperous, and happy 2023. Thanks for watching and for all your help. Take care, everyone. Have a very good night tonight. See you soon. Bye-bye.